We like to uh, welcome uh, Jesse Keith Whitley to the studios here, and Jesse, good to see you. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Thinking about the music and your background, let's go for that first. George Morgan, your grandfather, and of course Lori Morgan being your mother, and of course the late Keith Whitley, your father. A lot of good music blood there. Yes, sir. It don't get much better than that. <laughs> now I know when uh, I've heard some of the stuff that you've done too. I don't know if you've heard this before, but the voice of Keith Whitley kind of shows through a little. Yeah. I've heard that a few times you know we do a lot of you know when we do shows we do a lot of my dad's songs and uh you know we you know i kind of try and you know throw that little twang in there for everybody and uh you know it uh it usually turns out pretty good we get a lot of a lot of good talk about it and uh you know uh, hey who, who else could you who, who else better to be compared to right yeah, definitely. Great singer, and, uh, you know, we love the stuff your mom's done, too, so uh, good to have you here. And, you know, looking back at that growing up with your mother being Lori Morgan and all the musical influences in sports there, is this something you always wanted to do, is get into music? Not really. I didn't really want to really get into music until I was about uh, 17, 18 years old. You know, I was always, I always loved music, but... Uh, you know, I didn't really think that that's something I wanted to do for, you know, the rest of my life. And, uh, you know, I was in the choir at school and the handbell choir and all that stuff. And uh, finally one day when I was in college, I just decided I want to do music. And, you know, when I decided that, I hit the road working with my mom and the crew and working with Sammy Kershaw and his crew, too. And, you know, I just kind of fell in love with music all the way around. And, uh, you know, I just decided, you know, it was time. So we cut an album and here we are. Well, you know, talking about your dad, Keith Whitley, you recently also attended a uh, Hall of Fame in Kentucky. You want to talk about that? Man, that was real cool. You know, there was a lot of big artists up there. Patty Loveless, uh, John Michael Montgomery, Steve Warner, and, uh, you know, John Conley and Eddie Montgomery. And, uh, you know, uh, John Conley actually is the one who uh, brought me on stage to, uh, you know, to induct that into the Kentucky Hall of Fame. And, uh, you know, it was real cool, you know, to hang out with all these guys that I grew up and idolized and be there to, you know, accept an award for my dad. And I thought that was a really eye-opening experience. And, you know, it was like they... It was like at that moment they were welcoming me, to, welcoming me to the family, you know, and it was real cool. And, you know, we got to get up there and do uh, Miami, Miami for everybody. And uh, I tell you what, Eddie Montgomery was having a cow out there in the crowd, man. He was standing up screaming. And, you know, that was really cool to me, you know, that, you know, they were giving me that much love. You know, that was cool. Well, I think a lot of people respect the memory of Keith Whitley. Yeah, I, you know, I do too. I've got a lot of buddies that are in this industry as well. And, you know, pretty much everybody that I've met, you know, the first thing that they say to me, man, I was a huge fan of your dad. And, you know, and, you know, I ran into Dirks Bentley one time at the Opry and, uh, you know, I walked up to him and, you know, I introduced myself. I said, hey, Dirks. I said, I'm Jesse Whitley. And he was like, there you are. He said, I knew, I knew Keith had one running around. He said, I didn't know, I didn't know when you were going to come around. He said, I ain't never got to meet you. And, you know, we stood there and talked for a minute and, you know his, you know he he goes way back in the bluegrass too, and uh, you know that's kind of how my dad, that's how my dad started out, and uh, you know I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't have the opportunity to really start out in bluegrass, but uh, you know I listened to a lot of old bluegrass stuff, you know as I was growing up, and uh, you know it, it was just real cool to be able to sit there and you know hear somebody, you know like Dirk Bentley say that, you know, it, it was real cool, so. And Jesse, of all the songs that your dad did, do you have one in particular you enjoy the most? Yeah, Kentucky Bluebird. You know, uh, especially now, you know, it, I kind of look at it not like he's, you know, left a woman or a woman's left him. It's, you know, he's left us and, you know, blown down a highway by two separate winds, you know, and Lord only knows when I'll see you again, you know, and it's just kind of, that's a real special song to me, for sure. And I'll change gears around. You've been doing some touring with your mom. How how is it to be on the stage with your mom? Man, it's you know that's a that's a big milestone for really anybody. And uh, you know she would be on stage with somebody of that stature, and you know go on and you know do some songs and open for her and come back on and do some songs with her, and you know just to be able to be on the same stage as she is, you know, is an honor to me. And especially with Lori being out there so much, she knows the business. I'm sure that's also helped you where you're at right now. Yeah, she knows the ropes, and you know she's always, you know, she's always tried to help me. But you know what? She wants me to learn on my own as well. You know, and you know be able, and you know I, I do a pretty good job of it. You know, I've been around a long time. You know, I, I've been messing with this business for a long, long time. You know, I've been on the road since I was three or four years old, and uh, you know, I mean, you know, she like I said, she don't. Uh, 
she don't necessarily tell me what to do and when to do it, but you know, she gives me good advice and you know tells me to just keep on trucking no matter no matter what. You know, even if we get negative feedback, which is fine with me, that's just going to give me more initiative to you know knock your door down with my next song. You know what I mean? So that's fine. You know, uh, negativity is always a good thing sometimes. So you know, how did you get your record deal? Well, you know, uh, my mom and my manager kind of started up their their uh, their record label and uh, we were going to cut this album and. Uh, you know, it was just kind of kind of made sense, you know, really to release it on an independent label. So, you know, that's what we did and worked out a deal with them and went into Loud Studios with uh, Mr. James Stroud and all his guys, Julian King and all them wonderful, wonderful, wonderful engineers down there. And, you know, they did a wonderful job with this album. And uh, we just went in and cut it and, you know, just gave everything we had for this album. And, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to go back in when we get home and cut a few more songs and, you know, make it a full EP and, you know, just see what happens with it. You know, Why don't you talk about your new single and how you did get that song? Well, uh, my manager called me one night and my manager and my mom live literally next door like this. This is my manager's house and here's my mom's house. And uh, she called me and she said, where are you at? I said, I'm over at mom's. She said, don't, don't leave. I'll be over there in a minute. I got to play you a song. I was like, all right. So she come over there and she played this song for me and, you know, it was cool because, uh, you know, it talks a lot about, uh, you know, my family's heritage because, you know, back in the day up there, you know, they used to all run moonshine and make moonshine. And, you know, it talks about daddy being a hellfire preacher, man. And, you know, obviously my dad was no preacher, but, you know, I kind of look at him as a preacher of country music, you know. And, uh, you know, it talks about I found my calling singing country songs. And, you know, here I am singing country songs. And, you know, and it, it was written by uh, the lead singer of the band Exile, Sonny LaMare. And, you know, it's... Uh, that's really cool, you know, to have somebody, you know, with the credits that Sonny's got writing you a song. And, you know, I seen him at a show about a month ago, me and my mom did. And it was Exile, my mom, and Sonny Sweeney and Chris Young. And there's a few others up there. And uh, Sonny come walking up to me and he said, hey, you, uh, you Jesse Whitley? And I said, yes, sir. And he introduced himself. He said, I'm the one who wrote Kentucky Thunder. And I was like, oh, wow. He's like, we're going to hang out and watch his show and, you know, listen to you do it. And, you know, uh, I hope we did it justice for him. And, you know, we kind of put our own spin to it and, you know, made it ours. So it was fun. James Stroud, how is it to work with him? Man, that was, uh, you know, especially being the first album out there and, you know, to have somebody like James Stroud produce it, you know, uh, that was real cool. You know, he's got a lot of hits under his belt. You know, he's, you know, he's marked chapters in country music. And, uh, you know, it was just real cool to be able to go in that studio and, you know, where so many legends have been and so many of my idols have been as well. And, you know, just to go in there and cut that album in there with James was real fun. Jesse, how did uh, how did you get about to team up with him? Well, I was talking to my mom and, you know, she said, I'm going to call James Stroud. I was like, all right, we'll call him. I was like, what are you going to call him for? You know, because, I, I, you know, we were we were talking about the uh, about the album, but, you know, we kind of, you know, hadn't talked about it in a while, and we were just sitting around. She was like, I'm going to call James. So she calls him, and he was like, absolutely, let's set it up. So we set it up, and, you know, we went in there and rocked it out for a little while, and had uh, we had fun. And, you know, the first day we went in there, and I had a bad uh, case of laryngitis, and, uh, you know, I couldn't get in there and sing with the band, which I was really looking forward to be able to do, but, you know, we didn't get to do that. But it was still fun, you know. We had we had a lot of fun being able to work with them guys. He's got a great team of guys over at Loud Studios, and, uh, you know, uh, Julian King worked hard with me on, on this album, too, and, you know, it was a lot of fun. You talked about the EP. We played the new song from it, but uh, you have a lot of good stuff on here. Yeah, we, uh, we got a lot of big-name writers on there, uh, you know, Bob McDill, of course, who wrote Don't Close Your Eyes and uh, John Randall, myself and uh, Brantley Gilbert and Sonny LaMare and uh, you know it's just a, it, you know this album's got a lot of great writers on it and uh, you know they're, they're real good songs and you know I think we did a real good job picking our stuff out Well one song in particular let's talk about and we're going to play it is a song that you uh, co-wrote with uh, John Randall I know that's a special song for you too Yeah, it, uh, It's called Where Would I Be and me and John actually wrote it uh, I'd say about seven and a half, eight years ago, and, uh, you know, it's been through a lot of different cuts, a lot of different uh, different styles, and, you know, we was in a studio, and uh, the band kind of kicked it off, and, you know, James was shaking his head, and, you know, I was kind of feeling what he was talking about, and he said, no, y'all stop it. And he said, let's make this more Jesse, and, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, they took it from the top again, and I'm from opening lick, man, all the way through, it was just perfect, and, uh 
you know we finally got us a good cut on the on that song that we enjoyed and you know it it you know it's got a good rock and feel to it and you know a lot of people be able to relate to it jesse what a great song we took pride in writing that and uh, you know I, I i feel like it turned out real good and jesse if people want to know more about you and uh, going i know you're active you have a website and uh, yeah, yeah. facebook everything we've got a uh, facebook twitter uh, a website and we're on itunes as well we're on youtube as also and uh you know, we're actually about to re-release our single, Kentucky Thunder, on August the 8th. And, uh, you know, August the 8th, 23 years ago, uh, Don't Close Your Eyes went number one. So, uh, you know, if you go on my website, jessekeithwhitley.com, and uh, get on there and um, register with your email, we'll give you a free download of our version of Don't Close Your Eyes. And uh, pretty much everything else, you know, any anything that a, a, anything else that we... Uh, you know, we want fans to know or we want everybody to know dates, things like that will be emailed out and you'll catch them through your email. So, you know, get on get online, go to the website and, you know, register with the email and like the Facebook page, go on, watch some stuff on YouTube and get on iTunes and, you know, buy some songs. <laughs> That's where it all starts, isn't it? Yes, sir. Well, I tell you what, Jesse, how's the radio tour been going? I know it's been a long haul, but uh, yes. you've been meeting a lot of great people. Oh, yeah. You know, we, you know, everybody we've met has been super, super nice and, you know, welcomed us with open arms. And, uh, you know, it is tough, though, man. We've been out for about two and a half weeks. And, uh, you know, well, we've been out for we went out for a week and come home for about a day and took back out so we've been out about two weeks now and uh we uh and it's just tough man you know uh, my road manager jerry god bless him you know it, dealing with me is one task i can promise you that and uh couldn't nobody else do it and uh we make a good team man you know we work good with each other and you know we get out there and we just do our thing you know but right now i think both of us are ready to go home well and another thing is too i'm sure not too long from now you're going to be back on the road doing some more touring yeah you know we're in for about a week week and a half and uh we got a lot of stuff going on in nashville uh you know we got to do a couple of tv shows some interviews there with you know the radio stations there and uh i'm trying i think we're going to be playing a couple of shows while i'm home too so uh you know and then it's right back to it again and uh you know but that's all right you know we get get us a week home and you know spend some time with everybody there and you know just kind of do our thing well jesse it's great to meet you and like we said we've enjoyed the music of uh, both uh, your parents over the years you know I'm, i mean you know i ain't my dad i ain't my mom you know by god but you know my name's jesse keith whitley and that's all i can be you know and you know i'm bringing my own stuff to the table and i hope everybody likes it because i'm playing on i'm planning on sticking around for a long time so you know i'm get used to it <laughs> well jesse one thing I, I like what i'm hearing and i think a lot of people are and have everybody request that song yeah y'all call in and request kentucky thunder please you know get it out there and uh you know that's a big thing in this business is your fans you know you can't you know you gotta you gotta keep in contact with your fans because if it wasn't for the fans man no, we wouldn't be here so you know we're gonna get out there and keep on trucking and we're gonna head on home for a little while and you know get re recouped and he hit it again